Do you know how many fatal accidents happen in construction industry in recent past years? Is there any states and data available regarding the fatal accidents for the construction in anywhere in Indian websites or the agencies or the governing bodies? Well, the answer is no. DG Fastly is the governing body for occupational related accidents in India where they take care of factories incidents, or construction incidents and all other industries accidents related data. But unfortunately, DG Fastly do not have any fatal accidents record for the construction industry, even for the last year and don't have for the current years. DG Fastly have the records of only factories related occupational accidents or fatalities where they do not have any data related to the construction fatalities. Then why then the do construction sites in remain one of the riskiest in the world? The construction activities have grown by 80% in the past four years from rupees 7.8 crore in 2013 to rupees 14,000 crores in 2022 with an accident rate of 165 out of every thousand workers in India injured. It is important to address this issue urgently. I have tried to figure out this fact that what are the total number of fatal accidents happen in construction industry during the past years. I have taken the references of five main references where the first reference is from the research paper published by IIT Delhi and NIT Surat. The second reference I have taken from the newspaper of Counterview published in year of 2019. I have taken the third reference from the British Safety Council report published in year of 2022. I have taken the fourth reference from the Money Control report published in 2022. And the fifth reference is taken by BLS, Bureau of Labor Statistics US which publish the data of occupational health and safety related incidents generally. Many countries depend on their insurance sector and legislation to compile accident records. However, in India, insurance sector does not maintain such data separately for the construction sector and many accidents are underreported under legislations. Therefore, this study explores different type of sources where accident statistics of the construction industry may be available. Construction industry is the second largest industry in India after agriculture. The International Labour Organization ILO has estimated that the total cost of occupational accidents and work-related diseases are 4% of the gross national product GNP. The total GNP of the world was approximately 7 crore 55 lakh million USD in 2013 as per World Bank 2013 record, which means that worldwide the annual cost of work-related injuries and diseases is approximately 30 lakh million US dollar. In general, the tendency of construction is to keep away from reporting accidents to the relevant authorities. Therefore, it becomes difficult to study the trend of accidents and review the safety performance of the construction sector at state and national level. As a result, it also become difficult to compare the safety performance of India with other countries. The first report which I have taken the reference of one from IIT Delhi and NIT Surat report. This talks about the fatal accidents happen in the construction industry in past years. This particular report talks about the incidents happened from the year of 2008 to 2012. During these five years, this publication talks about the 11,640 numbers fatal accidents happened in construction alone. Whereas, they talk that 22,000 total fatalities would have happened in construction. But due to some of the projects would not have operational they have considered the minimum uh, figure of 11,640 numbers for the fatal accidents. This data they have figured out from the various stats and references. That says this, the total accidents happened from the year of 2008 to 2012 was 48,000. 
out of which 11,640 numbers of the fatal accidents were only from the construction industry. If we talk about that is 24% of the total accidents. It means 24 accident, 24% of accidents are alone contributing from the construction industry. If we take the reference of CIDC Construction Industry Development Council report 2007, it says that there is an infusion rate of 6 million people. It means 6 million people are required every year in the construction industry. Whereas the report of 2012 government states talk about 53 million people of Indian population are working in construction industry and there is an infusion rate of 6 million people every year in construction industry. It means the skill power, skill manpower is always lagging in the construction area or the sectors. Here, the accident statistics of the NCT Delhi has been estimated based on the Indian Express newspaper reports and the records obtained from the DMRC under the RTI Act 2005. As per this record, actual and estimated fatal accidents statistics were present in for the year of 2008 to 2010 in Delhi. So it shows reports related to projects of Delhi Metro Rail Corporation in NCT was actually 56 in number, but as per shown in the newspaper, it was 10 only. The reports related to the projects of Commonwealth Games in the NCT Delhi, the cases reported by the Indian Express newspaper was 43, but actual it was 241 as per RTA Act information. Accidents reports related to other construction projects of NCT Delhi, the number of or the figures given by the Indian Express was 176, whereas as per the RTI information, we got 985 numbers. So, the total of above for the NCT Delhi based on the Indian Express for 5 years 2008 to 2012, the fatal accidents records were 229 only, whereas as per the RTI information, it is actually 1282 numbers. According to a news of counter view published in May 12, 2019. It says India's 80% construction site unsafe, deaths 20 times higher than those in Britain. It says the government of India may be seeking to project India's construction sector as the country's second largest employer of the country after agriculture providing jobs to more than 44 million people and contributing nearly 9% to the national GDP. Yet, ironically, its workforce is more unprotected than any other industry sector of the country. Data suggests that the possibility of fertility is 5 times more likely in the construction industry than in manufacturing industry and the risk of major injury is 2.5 times higher. An attempt to collect the data by Pandya with the help of BMS volunteer Darshan Patel, a civil engineer by profession, has revealed that in Gujarat, which accounts for nearly 13% of old construction sector investment in country next only to Maharashtra, which is 25%, the number of deaths as a result of fatal accidents were 137 in 2018, the highest in a decade in 2017. There were 67 deaths, 2016 sa 55 that 2015 sa 62 that and 2014 sa 69 that that of construction in gujarat obtained by feeling right to information pre with gujarat police and newspapers clipping the data for the shows that 49 percent of deaths in gujarat took place by falling from height followed by 21 percent that by buried under the abyss and 70 perform 74 percent of accidents no fir is registered FIR is registered only in case of that, even if the injury disabled a person for a longer period. No FIR is registered, says Patel in the news. As per referring the British Safety Council report on October 2022, it says the that on construction site daily occurrence, campaigners say the central and 
state governments need to increase safety inspections and ensure construction workers can access the social security benefits they are entitled to. Although the construction industry is one of the largest sectors of employment in India, it is also the second most hazardous with an average of around 38 fatal accidents a day. According to a 2019 study by Indian Institute of Technology, Delhi, falls, electrocution and collapsing wall and strict scaffolding at construction sites are the leading causes of work-related deaths in the construction industry. As per the report published by Money Control on 28 September 2022, real estate construction sites cannot remain dead traps for the workers. Safety laws are ignored, except in laws organization, and Indian workplaces remain the most unsafe in the world. Indian construction workforce constitutes 7.5% of the global workforce but accounts for 60.5% of the fatal global occupational accidents. The Guru Ram Police released a report that at least 20 construction workers in the city have lost their lives in the city till July this year. Similar accidents have been reported from Chennai as well. The common thread in all these is the lack of safety measures that might have prevented these needless accidents. A global study in 2015 found that the Indian construction workforce constitutes 7.5% of the global workforce but accounts for 16.5% of the fatal global occupational accidents. It also found that about 40% of the fatalities were due to falls, over 8% were struck by objects and about 8.5% by electrocution. Clearly, a little precaution could have reduced the fatalities. If we talk about the incident statistics, in the US, the governing authority is BLS, Bureau of Labor Statistics. As per the new release by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, Work-related fatalities due to fall, trip and trip increased 5.6% in the 2021, from 805 fatalities in 2020 to 850 in 2021. Falls, clips, trips in construction and extraction occupational accounted for 370 of these fatalities in 2021, and an increase of 7.2% 7 .2 from 2020 when there were 345 fatalities. Despite the increase, this is still down 9.3% from 2019, when construction and extraction occupations experienced 408 fatalities due to this event.